Dorothy, it was a humbling day for New Jersey's chief executive, a man with presidential size self-confidence and ambition. For two hours, he faced a grilling from reporters who asked him dozens of tough questions, all seemingly around one subject. What was his role in the scandal that's become known as Bridgegate? And I come out here today to apologize to the people of New Jersey. Today, Governor Christie was forced to address the scandal that he had initially dismissed as nothing more than partisan politics. Along with his rare moment of contrition, the governor announced Bridget Kelly, a high-ranking cabinet aide, and the woman at the center of the lane closures in Fort Lee is out. I terminated her employment because she lied to me. The governor said he initially asked his staff if anyone had anything to do with the closures, and when no one came forward, he considered the matter closed. But yesterday, the now infamous email exchange between Kelly and other Christie appointees went public, and he learned of what he categorized as a deception. The governor's opponent in the November election finds it hard to believe he could have been kept in the dark for so long. He runs it like a paramilitary organization, strict discipline, demands fealty, and that's why when he says that he didn't know anything about this, that it was his deputy chief of staff knew, his campaign manager knew, his communications director knew, his two highest officials he appointed to the part authority, they knew, but he didn't know, I don't, I don't buy it. Despite the very public humiliation, the governor hopes today's mea culpa proves to the people of New Jersey that he's willing to lead in good times and bad. I am responsible for what happened. I am sad to report to the people of New Jersey that we fell short. So what exactly happened? Well, Governor Christie says even after reviewing the documents that have been made public, he still doesn't know. So he's going to continue to hold one-on-one -on -one meetings with the other members of his cabinet to see if there are any other facts that are still outstanding that might shed some light. He says no matter how painful the revelation, he'll make those public. He also says he hasn't spoken with Kelly yet, and he said that's because he doesn't want to interfere with any legislative subpoenas. Remember, there's one out for her to testify before Assemblyman Wisniewski's committee. Also, one other person feeling the heat today, Bill Stepien. Senator Buono mentioned him there. That was the governor's campaign manager. He was all set to head up the NJGOP and follow Governor Christie to the Republican Governors Association. That is now out. He has been relieved of those opportunities.